Hi, I'm Brooke from SmarterQ, and today I'll be walking you through how to create amazingly engaging single image posts for your Instagram feed. From inside SmarterQ, the first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and actually create the post. In order to open the post editor, click on Create a Post from the top menu. From here, select a category for your post and then choose your Instagram profiles. Every Instagram profile either has a lightning bolt or a bell icon in the top right. Profiles with a lightning bolt icon have direct publishing enabled in the profile section, while those with a bell icon will publish via the notification workflow. I'll choose my Instagram profiles and add my caption in so we have something to work with. You'll also notice a new option come up in the post editor when an Instagram profile is selected, the Instagram post type. This lets you decide if the post is meant to be published as an Instagram feed real post or as a story. Now we need to add an image. I'll add one by clicking the icon here as there are several different ways to add media to your post. You can upload media from your device, copy something from the web, pull designs you created on canva.com or create them from scratch, search for free images, or pull media from your own media library that you've used in previous posts. So I have this image on my desktop that I'm gonna to add to this post. As soon as I add the image, the preview is going to update on the right hand side. You'll notice that the feed reel button for the Instagram post type automatically switched to feed once we added an image to the post instead of a video. Next, under Instagram publishing method, select how you'd like your content to publish, directly or via a notification workflow. By default, all posts will attempt direct publishing. Leaving this on will ensure that SmartQ will try to directly publish your post where possible. No worries, if some of your selected profiles or media aren't compatible with direct publishing, we'll fall back to the notification workflow. You can also select Get a Reminder Yourself to publish manually, even where direct publishing is possible, just in case you'd like to add stickers, tags, locations, or filters to the post. Maybe you want to manually check how your Instagram posts look before publishing, or just to ensure that you crop the media exactly how you want it. Then, Choose your post timing and evergreen post recycling settings and save your post to your queue. In this example, we selected business, creator, and personal Instagram profiles. So for the personal profile, we'll need to use the Smarter Queue mobile app to finish publishing it. Once you've saved your post in your queue, you can then preview your Instagram grid and plan how you'd like your feed to look in the future. Navigate to the Instagram grid button in the top right, and this will show you the visual Instagram planner. The Instagram planner will pull some of the most recent images from your Instagram feed, as well as future posts you've scheduled using SmarterQ. You can see your stories at the top as those are separated from your feed so that they don't cloud everything inside of your grid. And you can use this toggle here at the top in order to show even more posts into the future. As I scroll down in the grid, we can see here is our post with our cute kitten. You can also drag and drop these posts to be in a different order if you want to rearrange them and make things more visually appealing. The next thing that we'll need to do is to complete posting to Instagram for our personal profile as it does not allow direct publishing. Post with single or multiple images and videos that are up to 15 minutes long will be directly published to your Instagram business and creator profiles based on your selection. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like to publish Instagram content via the SmarterQ mobile app. To start off, we'll look at the steps to publish the single image post on an iOS device. Ensure you have the latest version of the SmarterQ mobile app installed and make sure to be logged into the correct profile. When it's time to post, you'll receive a push notification. You'll see a preview of your post with the image and caption. Next, tap post to Instagram to continue. You'll be redirected to the Instagram app and see your image automatically open. On this screen, you'll be able to choose whether you'd like to post your Instagram stories or feed. If you were publishing a story post, you wouldn't need to opt for story here. For now, we'll post to our feed. Tap next in the upper right hand corner to move forward. Apply any edits or filters to your picture, then tap next in the upper right hand corner once again. Our caption is already copied to our clipboard, so I'll simply long tap into the caption field, select paste, and here's our caption. If you'd like, add a location or any other information and tags to your post. Once you're happy with your post, tap share in the upper right hand corner and it will load to Instagram. There you have it, the post is now live on Instagram. Now let's walk through publishing the same post on an Android mobile device. 
Just like on iOS, you'll receive a push notification when it's time to post. Clicking on the notification will redirect you to the SmarterQ mobile app where you'll see a preview of your image along with the caption. Tap on Post to Instagram to continue. Your caption is going to be automatically copied to the clipboard. You'll be redirected to the Instagram app and see your image automatically open. Tap Next in the upper right hand corner of the screen to move forward with cropping your image accordingly as well as applying any edits or filters. Your caption is already copied to your clipboard, so simply long tap into the caption field of Instagram to paste it. Depending on your device, you'll either see a text bubble within your keyboard or a paste option. Either way, you'll be able to paste your caption in. You can also make some additional edits such as adding a location or tagging someone. Once done, simply click on the check mark icon in the upper right hand corner to finish posting to Instagram. You'll now see that your post is live on your Instagram account. Alright, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch by sending an email to hello at smarterq.com.